Hey, hey, this is Zora. I am uh, in my Ishtar here. If you're not familiar with the ship, it is Eve, um, again, as a MMO. It takes place in space. And uh, we are uh, flying what's called an Ishtar. This particular ship is a Tier 2 ship which means it's a uh, high-tech compared to some of the other stuff and uh, right now I've just finished a combat site I'm gonna do another one but I just wanted to kinda get everybody in on this um, this is normally the bad things channel we do left-hand pass stuff but you know that isn't my entire life of course um, I'm fond of MMOs especially this one in that uh, the Machiavellian strategy the backstabbing and so forth it happens in this game quite frequently and strategy is a big part of it. You really can't play this game without a lot of strategy. It's often said that the battle is over before you even leave the station. And why am I going in circles? But the particular ship I'm using, as I said in my uh, feed, is somewhat odd in that, uh... That's going in circles, what's the deal? Uh... The Ishtar is, uh, really a drone boat. And drones are these small ships that basically fly around your ship. They're like little robots, basically. You use them usually as an ancillary thing. You're shooting at somebody and your drones will either shoot, shoot at them as well, or tank them, or in some cases use various sorts of electronic attacks and targeting methods. Um, I, of course, use the drones as a means of out-and-out -out attack. Um, that is, this ship's full offensive capability is all drone-based. And, uh... Speed is usually a big problem in that uh, in EVE you're looking at your uh, the range of your guns being a big part of their effectiveness. Some guns work at very long range and some guns work at very short range. And of course, in this game, there are some ships without guns, like miners and shuttles and so forth. Um, the shuttles are usually a disposable ship, just meant to get you from point A to point B. <laughs> I am going in circles. Okay, let me uh, stop the video to... Uh... Okay, we're back. <clears throat> um, we've taken the ship back, and we're going to go back out again, and y'all will see some combat here. Um... I don't think in a PvP combat, although this ship could handle it. This again is my Tier 2 Ishtar, um, a sturdy little craft, and it's got no weapons other than drones. Um, again, just something I found that works in this game. And the main thing about the ship is its unbelievable range. Um, 
while we're on the way to the next system, I will show you guys that. Let me see. We're Drassel. Um, basically, what you see here, the ship itself. Give you some idea. Um, there is my character, of course. I have a 5,000 meter bonus to drone operation range. That isn't really much until you take into account um, each of these modules here, the drone log link augmenter, gives me a certain percentage addition to my drone range, giving this a, uh, a drone range beyond really most gun ranges. Uh, meaning I can stay out of range and just hit them with drones indefinitely. The micro warp drive is here, and this allows me to move quickly um, in short burst. And as you see, I get drone damage increases, um, as well as my fitting here. Um, I have drone some drone durability, but the main thing is my sentry range uh, drone damage increase. And of course, I have modules here that increase the drone damage and accuracy. Accuracy, but uh, the main thing is my sentry drones are deadly. Sentry drones are a slow-moving uh, type of drone that's really useless unless you get at a really that's decent right. range. We're going to use some of them now. Um, in this ship, they do a whole lot of damage. Really. Uh, one or two of them is all that's necessary for mobs. Um, I keep three above average quality drones, sentry drones on the ship at all times. Um, now, at uh, 50 kilometers out, uh, they might be able to hit me with the cannons, but I doubt anything else. And, uh, I am pretty far off. Now, of course, I have the uh, one smaller drone to take on the uh, more problematic stuff. You see, 355 uh, points of damage, which is unusual for a drone. Um, normally, the average drone does, at best, 100 uh points of damage. Um, the sentry drones can easily do 300 points of damage. And again, they have unbelievable range. And they're missing that battery. There we go. And one thing I like about these uh, turrets is they uh, make a nice explosion. Current there. Nice uh, graphics on that explosion. Now, usually, when you take out these sites, you want to go after the turrets first. I am out of range of the turret, so it's not really relevant for me to do this. You go after whatever comes closest to you, especially if you're using sentries, because once they get inside your sentry drone range, um, the sentries are kind of useless on them. But as you see, one or two hits with the sentry, and these smaller ships are pretty much toast. They're going so fast, I can't even target them. Um, yeah, and this is much faster and more efficient than uh, guns on a ship would ever be. It's essentially as if I can launch my guns and they fly around me. Whereas the I can concentrate on the ship with taking damage and evading the uh, attacks on me, um, managing range and all that, the guns themselves move or, or stay stationary depending upon the needs. Um, you see they haven't even laid a glove on me yet. And uh, rarely do you go, unless you get it very far range, you go very long in these combat sites without at least taking a hit one way or the other. As you can see, I haven't even 
activated my invulnerability field, which is somewhat foolhardy, except that, like I said, I'm just not taking any hits. Um, they can't even get close to me. Now, they're using uh, destroyers with very long range. Um, but as you can see, I forget the name of that destroyer. I often fly one I consider basically a sniper. And they'd, uh, for destroyers, it has one of the longest ranges of a destroyer in the game by, uh, its advantages and whatnot. But yeah, those sentry drones really just make short work of anything there. And the other th reason you want this is not just to protect yourself, but also, um, Sometimes when you get to a site like this, there's competition. Someone else will try to score the hits. And I've even seen fights because of this. People shooting each other because they want to uh, get the bounties and the uh, loot and whatnot. Um, the thing about this is, as I said earlier, with drones, you don't have to worry about getting a lock. Um, as soon as the drones, for whatever reason, are triggered, they'll go after and if you lose targeting ability as some of these uh, mobs out here can mess with your electronic attack uh, of course you see I just did the whole site in the time it took even on a better ship most people would still be shooting at this point um, and are there any structures that are worth shooting no and that's pretty much how quickly you can take care of a site with drones um, I love the Ishtar for this ability in that uh, the drones seem like kind of a cheater thing because you're not actually firing at them. But in this game, it's not like marksmanship is even an issue. Um, you have the speed and capability of your ship, and then all this loot is basically mine. Um, the only problem with this is that this far off um, it does take some time to get near the loot. That is one of the other reasons we have the afterburner. I had this issue before, um, where the ship would, uh, rather than approach something, it just would go in circles. I'm not really sure why this is happening. Um, but at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video now. Uh, think for yourselves, and I will work this out. Okay seem to have fixed the bug. Apparently at a certain range it just wants to orbit. Um, I've never seen that before, but I actually managed to get through that by using the uh, button controls, as I know I'm a horrible clicker. Oh, take me out and shoot me. But anyway, um, the good thing I like about these drone boats is you can always keep a nice, uh, once you're done, you keep a nice little complement of salvage drones and you can salvage with uh, your guns of course you can have a salvage unit on your ship that can actually directly salvage the item but the drones are much more effective in that you basically just fly around and let the drones do the work um, you know being the whole idea and as you can see they just gobbled up that wreck and they're bringing it back to me um, these wrecks are worth money not a whole lot um, you don't make a whole lot of isk with salvage, but it's always good to have them. Um, the other off thing you can do with these salvage things is you can make rigs. Um, I actually have some blueprints for rigs. Um, 
Matter of fact, one of the things I used to like to make when I was in an ice making system was uh, ice mining rigs. Actually, some good money in those, and you can sell them for a little bit higher of a price. A lot of times, an ice miner, especially if they're in a hurry to grab as much ice as possible, they're putting together a new ship and they need the rig they will pay a little extra for it and they won't even resent doing it because again you're selling them the convenience of having the rig and equipment in the same system where the ice is and uh... You know, that is basically the same concept as selling uh, girl scout cookies outside of a pot dispenser obviously there's going to be a demand generated by the product being sold at the uh, business and in this case it's ice and anything these guys can do to get as much ice as possible as quickly as possible they're going to do ice is a lot of money very fast not a tremendous amount but it does have a pretty nice market in you um, especially if you can process it into its uh, base structures and there's people making fuel um, and in some cases making drugs and so forth and ice products are also necessary to operate certain modules so it's a big deal. The thing I like about Eve is, is not only is there no supernatural in the game, which you'd think someone like me would just live for something supernatural. Um, there's no magic, no, none of that. It's all scientific. Everything can be explained. Um, there's no real aliens. Uh, the closest thing we have to aliens in the game are sleepers, which are AIs, which were robots, basically, that were set up long ago. Your real enemy are the other players. Um really things I'm doing now is much, very ancillary to the game. Um, the focus of the game is PvP. Competition. Um, economic competition. Uh, and in some cases, just messing with each other. Blowing up their structures. Blowing up their miners. And producing items for other people to buy. Competing in the market. That sort of thing. Um, the game is probably the most sandbox of any MMO I've seen and then other than the planets and the stars in the game and the NPC stations even structures can be built that people can do commerce in in the game anything from towers to uh, stations I think there's like four types of stations I mainly blow them up I don't build them um, they can have defenses of all sorts, not just guns, but um, different types of electronic attack. Um, the other day we were attacking a station and it uh, warp scrammed. It made it impossible to warp after you began shooting at it. Um, some stations will heal friendly ships nearby. Um, and it's not just like there's one type of gun. Um, there are four different types of guns and each of those types of guns usually has two or three different styles like with the lasers you have the pulse laser or the burst laser um, there are different types of ammunition for each gun having slightly different properties and then that's not even taking into account electronic attack scrambling the warp engines uh, making it impossible for them to target and so forth offense in this game is a very uh, diverse thing. Um, with defenses, that's even more complicated because there's four different types of damage you can take. So there are obviously filtered damage, like you can stop all thermal damage, that sort of thing, or not all of it, but most of it. And then there's general things like damage control and, uh, and vulnerability fields, which uh, filter out all damage but not a whole lot of it and then you have things like a uh, shield boosters which actually add to your shields or might repair your ship um, giving you hit points and there's things you can add into that like uh, there's this nano paste basically that certain modules will use to quickly repair your ship and you can heal other ships too there's logistics we actually have when we attack we have logistics ships that help us out in various ways, either giving us cap, which is fuel, like electricity or fuel. Um, we have some that can heal the ships. We have some that can in, in reinforce shields. And you can even do uh, command bonuses to help other ships. I have 
several ships which can make uh, other people's shields work better, might make them faster, harder to hit. I don't know of any that actually augment damage, but I am looking for that because I want to get a very offensive uh, type of uh, command ship get going or a squadron of just hit and run type of ships, primarily destroyers, which are the smaller ships. Um, there are so many strategies and so many different types and sizes of ships, everything from the giant types to the uh, very small frigates. Didn't get much out of this haul, but you got to see how it works. Um, you got the uh, salvage here. Um, this might looks like salvage, but it's just scraps. It's basically this goes straight into trit tritanium. And you have ammo, and then you have a module. Strange, I normally get more modules than that. But uh, anyway, that's basically Eve. I just thought I'd give you guys a look. Think for yourself, and that's it.